Hello everyone, we are Team Awesome Sauce, and this is our TV show pitch. We will be bringing you a show called The Assistant, where three hopeful contestants participate in a reality-style competition to earn the newly opened position of Human Resource Assistant at Search Marketing. The story will be told through the timeless artistic medium of sock puppetry. Our target market includes individuals seeking to learn management principles in a fun and interactive way. The management concepts we will be focusing on throughout the episodes include the following. Chapter 1. Interpersonal skills, such as sensitivity, persuasiveness, and empathy, important at all levels of management. Technical skills, knowledge about procedures and equipment and how and when to use that knowledge. Conceptual skills, such as logical reasoning, judgment, and analytical abilities. Chapter 5. Developing Action Plan, which describes what will be done to accomplish objectives. Chapter 7. Evaluate Performance, a way of knowing how employees are doing. Training. The action of teaching a particular skill or behavior. Sexual Harassment the making of unwanted sexual advances or obscene remarks. Incentive plan, a system that ties some compensation to performance. Valid selection technique, a screening process that differentiates those who would be successful in a job from those who would not. Structured interview, interviews that ask a standard set of questions to all candidates. Job posting, an internal recruiting method. Employment agencies, that find employees or employers for whoever seeks their assistance. Advertisements, such as postings in newspapers or other publications. The internet, which is used to post openings on job listing sites such as Indeed or the company's own website. Chapter 8. Drive, a high level of energy, effort, and persistence. Self-confidence, a strong belief in one's own capabilities. Honesty, trustworthiness. Emotional maturity, remaining even-tempered and calm in the face of stress or pressure. Charismatic leader, one who has influence over others based on the individual's inspirational qualities rather than their formal power or position. Personal power, based on a person's individual characteristics. Position power, based on a person's position and rank in an organization. Our storyline is as follows. Search Marketing is a firm that has helped hundreds of businesses in the Tampa Bay area prosper for the last 30 years. Margaret has been the human resource manager at Search Marketing for the past 15 years. Fred, her trustee assistant, has been around for five years. But due to Margaret's overwhelming requests and little incentives for Fred, he has decided to move to the accounting department. In an act of despair, Margaret decides to host a competition in order to find herself a new assistant. Through the use of employment agencies, job postings, the internet, and advertisements, Margaret is able to find herself three eligible candidates, Dylan, Sophia, and Nicholas. Through a variety of challenges that will test the abilities to train, fire, and correct inappropriate behavior, the contestants will get a chance to show their so-called management skills. Who will triumph in the end? Tune in to our upcoming episodes and find out. The characters for our show are as follows. This is Margaret, the controlling workaholic human resource manager who has been an employee at Search Marketing for 15 years and is in charge of recruiting and selecting a new human resource assistant. Margaret has great conceptual and technical skills, but is lacking in her interpersonal skills. This is Fred, the beloved yet incredibly insecure human resource assistant who has worked for Margaret for five years, but has decided to transfer to the accounting department in order to get away from Margaret's overwhelming request. He has drive, honesty, and emotional maturity. This is Sophia, contestant number one, 
an ex-retail service lead at Forever 21 who survives on a diet of strictly cigarettes and Starbucks. Sophia possesses great interpersonal skills, but lacks greatly in her conceptual skills, which often leads to catastrophe. This is Nicholas, contestant number two, an ex-customer service manager at Sweet Bay with recruiting and selecting experience who has been wanting to work for search marketing for quite a while. His exaggerated self-confidence, along with his need to constantly work out, often gets in the way of his technical skills. This is Dylan, contestant number three, an ex-teacher who has just finished school and wants a job to get his foot in the door. He lives in a little condo with his partner Stuart and their French bulldog Stella. He is incredibly humble but extremely competitive in the workplace due to his high level of drive and emotional maturity. This is an overview of each of our episodes. Episode 1. The audience is introduced to Margaret and Fred. It all starts out as a regular day at the office until Fred makes the uncomfortable announcement to Margaret of his transfer to the accounting department. To his dismay, Margaret becomes hysterical. She has so much to do and will not be able to get it done without any help. In an act of despair, Margaret makes the decision to hire Fred's replacement through an intense competition. For the remainder of the day, she sets out to recruit contestants through the use of employment agencies, advertisements, job postings, and the internet. The concepts that we will be using in this episode include recruiting, such as employment agencies, advertisements, the internet, and job postings, and developing an action plan. Episode 2. Margaret's recruiting methods have paid off, since she has acquired three candidates that she believes are best suited for the position of human resource assistant, Dylan, Sophia, and Nicholas. Through a structured interview, Margaret asks each contestant a set of standard questions that will allow her and the audience to get an insight into the contestant's ways of thinking and doing things. The concepts used in this episode include structured interview and evaluating performance. Episode 3. As the competition commences, Margaret announces the first challenge of the competition. The three contestants will take turns attempting to fire a difficult employee to show their personal power. However, due to his or her lack of management skills, the contestants fail to complete the first challenge. The concepts we'll be focusing on are critical incident, termination, personal power, and evaluating performance. Episode 4. As the contestants move on to the second challenge, Margaret announces their task will be to train an incompetent employee who doesn't quite seem to get the hang of things around search marketing. The contestants take turns individually attempting to complete the task. However, once again, they all fail epically. The concepts we'll be focusing on are training and evaluating performance. Episode 5. As the contestants move on to the third challenge, Margaret announces their task will be to stop an employee's constant inappropriate jokes to fellow employees who are getting tired of it. The remarks the employee has been making are borderline sexual harassment. Once again, all contestants fail this challenge as well. The concepts we will be using are critical incident, sexual harassment, and evaluating performance. Episode 6. Already three stages into the competition, none of the contestants have showed Margaret that they possess a good balance of the qualities she is looking for, which are drive, emotional maturity, honesty, and self-confidence. She begins to get desperate. At the end of the day, she pays Fred a visit to see how he is adjusting in the accounting department and asks him what he would have done in each situation. The concepts covered in this episode include evaluating performance, drive, honesty, self-confidence, and emotional maturity. Episode 7. After her visit with Fred, Margaret quickly realizes who the perfect HR assistant is. The next day at the office, she gathers Dylan, Sophia, 
and Nicholas to tell them that they are all unqualified for the position. Realizing that her position power got to her, she decided she needed to become a more charismatic leader and create a new incentive plan for the human resource assistant. After gathering her composure, she visits Fred again and practically begs him to work for her again, presenting him with the new incentive plan and her newly acquired attitude. The concepts covered in this episode will be valid selection technique, selecting, incentive plan, charismatic leader, and position power. The plan. So far, we have created all of the design challenges up until this point. We have done Milestone 1 and Milestone 2. We have created our TV show pitch and presented it. We have outlined all of the episodes and characters. Next, we will create the puppets for our show and begin filming the first few episodes. We plan to continue to communicate electronically and attempt to meet at least once a week. The tasks will also be divided accordingly so that we can finish on time.